The matte white and black hand gripped Elite Series 2 that's been flaunted around the internet and plastered on social media is actually the Xbox Elite Wireless Controller Series 2 Core. This controller was officially announced from Microsoft this morning. And in this video, we're gonna cover everything there is to know about this upcoming stripped down, more budget friendly version, S sort of. Here's the keys to a new car, but she ain't got no gas in the tank. Here's a pro controller, but she doesn't have rear paddles. This is your controller, Captain. We've reached 6,900 feet. Go ahead and start flicking the sticks and mollywop in the back paddles. Mm, you don't like back paddles? How about those rear buttons? We've tested almost 100 custom and premium controllers, and we're only at the beginning. You need a thumbstick guide or a tutorial on how to overclock your controller? Check out the controller playlist. Bing bong. Controller Captain out. Alrighty, stallions and stallionettes. Welcome to the Gamer Heaven. I am your host, AK40 Kevin. Sharing my screen, I have two articles pulled up. This is from the official Xbox blog, and this is the Xbox landing page. If you want to pre-order, order one of these controllers directly from Microsoft. Amazon is also receiving pre-orders and you'd probably get them delivered at the same time. Considering these controllers become available September 21st and the delivery estimate for my pre-order which I placed on Amazon was September 23rd. So prime two-day shipping on top of the release date of the 21st. So I'd probably get the controller at the same time going through Microsoft but I have that additional layer of customer support with Amazon. Now of course all the journalistic platforms such as IGN, Kutaku, Press Square, The Verge, PCMag.com have all gotten their hands of this news and publish their articles, we are specifically going off the core post from the Xbox blog. We're going straight to the source. So what you need to know right up front, the Elite Series 2 is going to continue to retail for $180, which is what it has retailed for since it launched. The Halo-themed limited edition Elite Series 2, which you're not going to be paying MSRP or retail for, goes for $200 without scalper markups and whatnot. And the new stripped-down core version, when I say stripped-down, it isn't lacking any features, but rather included accessories, basically all of them. That controller is going to retail for $100. $130. So $80 more than a standard controller, which interestingly enough, it seems as if Microsoft has renamed their standard Xbox controllers to Core Wireless. Must be a new marketing push, a, a, a rebranding of their controller division, if you will. The Xbox Core Division, meaning stripped down, just the essentials. A little more budget friendly if you don't want the pro or premium accessories. But lands this controller $50 cheaper than a fully loaded Series 2. But all you're getting in the box, included accessory wise, is the thumbstick adjustment tool, which you use to adjust the thumbstick tension and a USB-C cable. You're not getting the carrying case or the plug-in charger dock for that. You're not getting an additional four-way D-pad and you're getting two pre-installed thumbsticks, although for the life of me, I can't get what the frick those are, but we'll find out the 23rd when it gets delivered and I do my review. I need to take off my fake glasses here. I'm mean, Well, they're not fake. They're blue light and they're not prescription or anything. I can still see you just perfectly fine without them. They don't include rear paddles. What the shit? They don't include rear paddles, which is the entire point or purpose, the main key feature of a Pro controller. It's great to have swappable thumbsticks, trigger locks, maybe rubberized grips, maybe onboard profiles you can swap through, maybe mechanical face buttons and D-pad that's all clicky and tactile like a mouse switch. That's all great to have, but rear buttons or back paddles. That is the core fundamental feature of what makes a Pro controller. And the Elite Core has the actuators, the little niblets in the back to where if you just pop in the magnetic paddles, it'll work, but they don't include them in the box, which I think is absolutely ridiculous. They include two accessories here, as you can see, the USB-C cable and the thumbstick adjustment tool. Ditch the USB-C cable. I guarantee people have these laying around for their cell phones or, well, the one that came with their Xbox. The thumbstick adjustment tool, that can't cost very much to manufacture. Go ahead and leave that in there. But for the love of God, throw some paddles in there. But if you're going to source these yourself, you can come over here to Amazon. If you're curious about these aftermarket scuff ones, I have reviewed these on the channel. But this is great if you want to get different colors and customize. And as you see, they're not terribly expensive, but because they're not terribly expensive to purchase, I can guarantee they're not expensive for them to manufacturer, they absolutely should be included. Now, they're also now selling the complete component pack, which is a carrying case, the little USB-C charging dock to pop in the middle, four-way D-pad, the four rear paddles that should be included, the thumbstick tension tool. And I think that's great that you can pick and choose what you need. So if you don't want swappable thumbsticks or you're never going to use a carrying case or charging dock, but I don't think anybody's picking up an Elite Series 2 without the intent of ever using the rear paddles. So this needs mentioned, we've heard players loud and clear and have continued to improve Elite Series two controllers to be more reliable than ever before with refined components that are built to last. So obviously, anytime we talk about the original Elite or the Series 2, we have to talk about the quality control issues that have been going on at the Microsoft factory, which is pretty unacceptable for $180 controllers. Now, I have been getting reports down the grapevine that around 14 months ago, there was a big push to tighten up quality control at the factory when it comes to Xbox accessories, standard controllers, Elite controllers, even some of their headsets. And I have noticed just slightly less complaints in the controller community about Elite 
Elite controllers disintegrating people's hands. More realistically, stick drift, stuck face buttons, and broken bumpers. So it is interesting that Microsoft has actually heard the cries of hundreds of thousands of gamers that have had elites disintegrate in their hands, that they are tightening up quality control. And Microsoft has done a very welcome and smart move here by extending the warranty on the Elite Series 2 and Series 2 Core from 90 days, three months, to a year, which is now more competitive with other premium controller companies that might offer a six month, one year, two year, or even lifetime warranty. This is only on the Elite line. This isn't on standard controllers. So if your controller craps out, after 90 days, you got to buy a new one. Or follow along with one of my teardown guides to try and fix it yourself. And the funny thing is, if you buy the complete component pack, in essence, getting you a complete Elite Series 2, you're paying $190, where you can just buy the Elite Series 2 for $180. But realistically, you can find these on sale all day because they've been out since 2019. As where this is a new offering and probably won't be offered at a discounted price for quite some time because it's already their entry level offering. It just seems like the fully loaded Series 2 is a better value. Now, in celebration of this monument, Monumentous occasion, them dropping a white stripped down version of their controller that's been out for three years. Microsoft is also willing to take your money with a pretty dank white jersey. That's $100. And apparently, according to this, there's only five in stock. Better get on it quick. By the time of this video is live, they're probably sold out. Cosmetically, I think this controller looks fantastic. It's visually stimulating to my corneas. I kind of like that sterile white, how it pops against that black. Mm, looks good to me. Now, what really doesn't look good is this brushed aluminum D-pad wheel over here. That would be getting removed and spray painted matte black instantaneously. That looks, that throws off the aesthetics. And if you want to throw up in your mouth and swallow that back down for nutrition, here's the back of the controller with no paddles on it. Mm, that's how she's going to get delivered to you. You're getting all the same shared features because at its core, this is the same controller. As I have been raised about how insanely good the Elite Series 2 battery life is, you're getting the same built-in battery. It says 40 hours right here, which is a big number. In reality, in practice, it's substantially longer than that. At least it feels like it is. Unless there's any unforeseen delays, this controller will be delivered September 23rd, and I will be reviewing it that day. The review will most likely become public or live the next day. Pound some coffee. Just give her the... Just take her to... Downtown. And you might be wondering, Kevin, you're going to do a review of this controller considering it's identical to the Elite Series 2, which you just reviewed about a year ago? Yes, actually, because I have a new system for reviewing controllers now where I go top to bottom in a structured, organized, ranked, graded review system. And I also want to do a teardown of the Elite Series 2 core in comparison to my traditional OG standard Series 2, which I've had for about a year, to see if there's any visual difference on the internal components. Since Microsoft is flexing, they have increased the reliability. But what leaves me scratching in my head and my rump is, is this the only controller that Microsoft is currently developing? Is this what people were thinking is the Elite Series 3? Because if it is, fuck, like this is a stripped down version of a controller that we've had for two and a half years. It's very similar to the situation with the Switch OLED where people were hinting around, hey, it's the Switch 2 or the Switch Pro or the Super Switch. And it wasn't a next generation console. It was a midlife refresh, similar to like a PS4 Pro or an Xbox One S or X. Although this isn't even a midlife refresh. It's like a midlife refresh if your console lopped off half of its USB ports and gimped half of its graphical performance or something. It's a midlife cut down on horsepower because you've been getting too buck wild with those triple egg titles. If you enjoyed the video, liking it helps it to get seen by more gamers. This information will reach in a system as well, which in turn helps me grow this little channel, which I do greatly appreciate. Subscribe for more content like this. I cover news in the gaming community and industry, tutorials helping you get set up streaming and YouTubing, as well as honest gaming product reviews, keyboards, mice, headsets, controllers, mics, chairs, etc. There are some hefty exclusive discount codes found only in the description of my videos and only for the audience here at Gamer Heaven. Check out Into the AM for some of the sickest looking and most comfortable cloth to ever grace my gaming giblets. If you don't want to be scorching your corneas with harmful blue light, check out Gamer Advantage, the only blue light glasses on the market that look sexy and actually work. If you're looking for a custom controller that'll blow the competition's tits back, AIM definitively has the best bang for buck or price to performance when it comes to Xbox, PlayStation, and Switch controllers. Nope, they don't do Switch, but they do do gaming mice. I said doo-doo. I have links to all my other platforms and socials in the description below. If you need a quick laugh or blast of gamer adrenaline, check my short form videos out at TikTok. To get in touch with myself and the stallions and stallionettes of Gamer Heaven, join the community Discord and check me out at twitch.tv where I go live every other leap year on a blue moon if it falls into an odd calendar number and my pH balance is on point. Just kidding. Starting June, I'm going to be live streaming a lot. Thanks for watching. This has been AK40 Kevin hosting Gamer Heaven and I'll see you tomorrow because I upload daily all the time, 60% of the time, sometimes. Most of the time. Peace.